Welcome to this presentation about the license review in due diligence with a specific topic of open source license. In this lecture you learn about uh, four uh, key knowledge areas. The first one is what are the components of a software product and, and specifically what are open source and freeware. So we'll look at uh, the uh, definitions there and uh, we will also learn how uh, open source uh, software can be used and what license requirements come with uh, the open source license. And then we'll look at a number of key questions that uh, you should ask when uh, using open source software in commercial products. Most of the information presented here relates to a book that was recently published called Profit from Software Ecosystems. So looking at the products from uh, many different uh, software vendors, uh, there's basically uh, always the same type of components that you find in the software products. First of all, components created by employees of the software vendor. Then components created by service providers, by freelancers that are part of the software product that gets shipped to the customer. And then we also have uh, OEM software. So this is a commercial uh, software for which we have a commercial license to be included in our software product. Then we have uh, freeware that's basically um, similar to OEM, but freeware. Uh, for freeware, we don't have to pay a license fee. Uh, so for example, if you have a uh, compiler and some uh, DLLs uh, from the compiler are made part of the software product, this is what we call freeware. And then we have open source software, and open source software uh, basically has uh, one of the key attributes uh, in its name uh, that the source is open so that the source code is uh, visible and accessible and uh, it comes with an open source license that you have to comply with. So that's the overview of the components of a software product. So we know now that um, open source software is intellectual property and there are certain intellectual property uh, rights and also some uh, license terms and uh, if we want to make use of that in a commercial product we have to look at what exactly are we planning uh, to do with our commercial product that contains open source software. And here's a little example where a software vendor uh, sells software to customers and grants usage rights, but the software vendor also um, leverages uh, a reseller and uh, that reseller gets uh, sub-licensing rights from the software vendor to uh, itself grant usage rights uh, from the reseller to the customer. So this is the, what we call utilization that we are intending. And now we have to see what uh, the impact of open
So what does that mean for due diligence? So in due diligence with the intent to uh, analyze uh, a software vendor for acquisition, you have to look at all products and all open source software that is included in the software vendor's products. And then you have to check if the software vendor complies with the open source license terms. And you also have to check uh, if you have a, an open source policy as the acquiring company, if the license terms of all the open source software products used are also complying with your open source policy. And uh, normally in, in such uh, due diligence processes we end up with uh, several changes that uh, the target has uh, to do or that we have to do during post-merge integration, meaning that we have to remove or replace uh, open source software.